What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 73 to 76. Very excited to continue with the Little Garden, with the Alabasta, with Crocodile, Miss All Sunday, all this, all that, all the numbers pretty much. So, with that being said, let's continue on to this. No more wasted time. Very excited. Don't forget to check out that Patreon if you guys want early access and full length, up to eight episodes ahead, full uncut versions. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz. Let's hop right on into this One Piece, episode 73. Let's do it. All right, right where we left off. Signal is going off. I actually feel so bad for him. He was just trying to enjoy some nice liquor. And then he got his insides exploded and beat up by Luffy. Uh-huh. So you gotta continue it no matter what the circumstances are. No excuses. Damn. Damn. I would I would love to go to their village. That's what's called Elbaf, right? And their god, God of War. I I agree. I agree with Luffy, but there's also a certain level of pride and things, you know, that go beyond that. <laughs> exactly. That is some good perspective. He has levels of wisdom and experience that you can't even begin to fathom because of your age, you know? I love his laugh. <laughs> so <yaiza. laughs> Shouts out Usopp. I know, right? Bro, he's a brave just like I'm trying to be. I meant that in the mental sense. Usopp is something else, I tell you. Not even gonna make an excuse as like the liquor explode. He was just, you know. This is gonna be much more one sided than normal, I expect. With my man Dory being injured. It doesn't matter who you are. That's Luffy for you. Yeah, if he gets personally invested into something you're doing and then someone else fucks with that, it doesn't matter how long he's known you, Luffy's gonna stand up for you. I didn't even notice Mr. Chocobo was missing. That's Mr. Five and what's her name? Gravity Bitch. It's been a it's been a week or so since I've watched One Piece. Maybe it's been probably a little longer than a week, guys. So if I forget a couple of the names immediately, excuse me. Plus, trying to find names in this can be sometimes hard. I'm trying to have a separate page. I'm gonna just ruin my shirt. Just full of names. And even that's starting to get big, guys. The goat. <laughs> Him and Sanji forgot having this competition. Is that a fake body? Or someone dressed up? Yeah, because Nami is currently doing this. So. <laughs> okay, who stops the flash? <laughs> Oh, uh, so this is definitely one of their powers. Creating like these clones or copies. Three. Mister, is this Mr. Three's power? Yeah, she's in trouble, my man. You gotta go save her. Come on, Usopp. Definitely would be creepy, but you have to do it. <laughs> Even if your legs are shaking like that. Eat. Maybe he just needs to be the Flash now. Quite the way to say some news, even though that's not what happened, but... Because him and Sanji were still asleep during all that. Yeah, she's starting to put two and two together. Luffy's like, wait, you might be right. Yeah. 
Yeah, Usopp has a personal investment in this now with how pride filled he knows it is. So you can't have fucking Dory lose like this or Broggy win like this, you know? So we got to do something. So his hair is like a fuse. What is Mr. Three's power? What is is that like glue? What sort of viscous liquid is that? He fucks up my boy so he's fallen the slip off balance nah that was like a cut cut if my man dory just went out like that bro i'm gonna be a little butthurt i won't lie are we serious Bro, I didn't want to see Dory or Broggy die, man. Yeah, Mr. Five, Mr. Three, all the number, all the Baroque works. We they need to get their asses whooped for now. You know, now we still don't know technically it was them. We have assumptions, but we need to whoop some ass. Oh, my man Broggy is soup. He's geeked. I get it. After all this time and all that effort, you know, but it just sucks that it wasn't fair. And now they're going to admit that it wasn't fair. They're going to ruin his win. Realist painter assistant. So she helps with the dummies. What was her name? Miss Golden Week? Yep, and his legs are already encapsulated in whatever that shit is. So it's not only slippery like glue, but it also hardens as well. Oh, they're already here. Yep. God damn it. Shouts out Karu, man. Shouts out Karu, real one. This is some animal abuse, and he's still not giving in. <laughs> now Usopp's gonna get pissed as well. Everyone's gonna be pissed. With the uh, uh, ring blades. The peacock slasher. They do look like peacock feathers. Exploding star. How does a bomb gonna work against a bomb guy? He's over there. Zero grav. Obviously zero weight. Not the booger bombs. Who's going to be the saving grace in this fight? Is Luffy going to get out of this rock? Because we got to whoop some ass. The wax wax fruit. Wax wax. So it's wax. He's a candle man. Makes sense why it's liquid, but then also solid as well. You know, once it hardens, wax is pretty stable. And that's why he has the fucking wick on his head. That makes more sense. Okay. Okay. All right, on to episode 74. Let's do it. So, the wax wax fruit, huh? That is quite interesting. So, he just created wax dummies while his uh, assistant, I think her name is Miss Golden Week, would paint. Exactly. So, pretty good. So, he can harden them and then use the flame on his wick hair to, like, reignite. Like, what is what are we thinking? The spit so disrespectful. I can't lie, the kick explosions are extra powerful. 
Just kicking a man while he's down like that in by itself is fucking rough. But the explosions, literally. I can't wait for all of them to get their asses whooped. Just wait. They will. It'll happen. So, it can solidify so hard that even my man Bragi can't break out. That is some strong ass whack. Yeah, but it was ruined by you guys. Yeah, now he's like, wait, you guys interfered with my literal hundred year long duel? 200 million berries is a lot. Oh, Nami? Oh, no. Okay, yeah, just as hostage, yeah. I was, but I forgot Nami got fucked up as well, you know. Is there anyone who's not fucked up right now? Yep, solid set of handcuffs, whether it's on your arms or your feet. That that wax is pretty pretty utility, you know. Has some great use variety wise. Extra big candle set. He's making extra tall candles. Like physical candle towers. With jack-o'-lanterns on top? You made like a jack-o'-lantern candle cake? Yeah, what the fuck? It looks like we're about to be sacrificed to summon like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. What's going on with this wax foundation of a building we have? What the fuck? Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. I'm I'm a little curious on why I should be intimidated by this by this thing yet, you know, I don't know. Yeah, you need to have downward thrust, you can't like move your legs at all. Okay. He's fully passionate about his art. Die in the name of art. So he's like Datara from Naruto. He's cool if you die as long as it's for his art, you know. Maybe Broggy will go on a rampage. Did he really? He did say you're feeling sluggish. And why would we shame someone like that? And that's literally what he wanted too. He didn't want pity. Okay, Broggy. Damn. A barrage of booger bombs can even take out the giant himself. Aru can't let them get away with it either. He's over here digging a hole for Luffy to get out. He's crying. He's butthurt about this whole thing. He's like, he's like, I've been made a fool out of. You guys have made a fool out of. He's just as pissed as Luffy and Usa. Hell yeah. Shouts out Kaoru. Yeah, talk about someone keeping someone secure. God damn. That's like some pain from Naruto shit. Oh yeah, breathing in all that wax? I bet. This guy is like Sarayinik from Hunter x Hunter. He's, he's just, oh, it's weird. Yeah, 100 years and how quickly all that changes, you know?
Right, that's all they're meant to do. That would be so weird, slowly being able to not move anymore, turning into a... Zoro Bragi team up? I mean, theoretically, he's right. Yeah, it's either that or die as a solidified wax statue. <laughs> Bragi's like, oh, this youngin's a, you know, what a cheeky runt. She had to re uh, reignite Bragi's little spark. Spark a fight, you know, and your fighting spirit. Yeah, I highly doubt he's gonna chop his own legs off. What do you mean? Oh. Igaram? Igarapoy? I'm trying to remember his actual name because he, he was going by like a separate name. He was a goat, man. RIP. Never mind on cutting your legs off. We got the backup coming in, Zoro. Hold on like five seconds. Oh, with the music at the end, too. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Shut up, Zoro. My man was serious. We got Mr. Three in the way, but this is our okay. This is gonna be the next fight we got. Okay, okay. Is this a new ending? Bon voyage. Is that Miss All Sunday, the one who's singing? Okay, talk about a groovy ending. All right, on to episode 75. Here we go. Starting off hot. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, it is a cooler pose, I won't lie. I know, right? And they're already... Once Luffy comes, it's a whole different ballgame. Alright. Let's get this fight going on. They want revenge. Don't just call him out like that, Mr. Three. We got the Usopp and Karu combo. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. I mean, yeah, I do feel like Usopp would have our back with from a range if we needed it, but the fact that he just backs up instantly. And we're immediately trapped. He's like, this will make a perfect actual hammer for my feet. Yeah, what is his specific plan? Gain some serious rotational acceleration momentum. He's literally a flying hammer right now. Ah, Jesus. Talk about close. It's still going just without the pillar? That's what I'm saying. I was so hyped. Yeah, he's like, he's frozen in this position now. Yeah, it's because the wax is closer. It doesn't have to fall as far. 
It's literally, I think, made it worse that we broke that pillar. Ooh, a harpoon. So just because his body is regularly used to explosions, he's able to tank any explosion like that? I was not expecting that. Okay. You don't use very good gunpowder. Remember that. We gotta get more better gunpowder later, but that's what I'm saying. These devil fruits are broken. He got blocked. Did he hit one of his arms with that or no? He missed. And now he does have a mallet. Yup. A more concentrated one like the mallet is definitely going to crack as well, but it's going to break through that wall. Yeah, what? Is that her power? Colors trap? I was like, what is going on? You can't just catch a break. What is this colors trap? If he steps on a painted symbol, is that what that was? What is it? That is quite the fisheye lens. <laughs> well, for some reason, I just don't feel like it. You think he's going to let you? You think they're going to let you? This is such an anime thing. I just feel the need to explain it to Usopp <laughs> for some reason. Oh, you're right. There is a strange black powder right there. Thanks, guys. I didn't see that. What's, what's up with that one? Well, actually... It's, it's fucking, it's this other girl's power, you know? That's more along the lines of what I was expecting. <laughs> they're running. Oh, like Usopp and Karu make a good combo because they're both idiots. How are you catching up to Karu? <laughs> this dude's a literal... I actually thought Karu and Usopp were going to save Luffy from that little paint thing. But no, how is this going to work? She loves munching on those goddamn crackers or cookies. Betrayal Black. That's handy. I'm assuming it's an active touch, though. Like, if he gets off the black, it immediately goes away. Because that's a little bit of a restriction, you know? All we need is someone to push him, and he's good. Yeah, because if it's an automatic betrayal and you do the opposite of what they say, then he should. Yep, good, good. Yep, that was actually smart by Vivi. Don't step back on it, though, whatever he does. What, did she just tickle him with orange? What the hell was that? Yellow. Laughter yellow, betrayal black. What's up with these Looney Tunes ass fucking sound effects? I hate this. Never mind that. This joke is too funny. Bro, what kind of Scooby Doo shit is going on right now? Yeah. Sock this little girl right behind you. Just punch her. Yeah. Give her a quick one, two. No. Let's deal with her. Bullfight red. I'm assuming it makes you bloodlusted. You just turn angry as shit. Oh. Red automatically attracts you. I like that. That's actually kind of creative. She can just draw it over there or, or the same exact one. She doesn't even need to draw another one. Now you're just calm. Yeah, you're, you're cool. I 
They think they're as quick as Kaoru. Good one, guys. Ooh. I thought it was just going to be a normal Blick, but that's a 44 caliber Flintlock Revolver. That is a special Blick. South Blue model. Ah, uh, that's why it's a six chamber uh like revolver whereas normally you'd have to reload with gunpowder after every shot you know but this one ding 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 so we just gotta deal with this girl in the paint and then hopefully luffy can save the rest they're about to be literally frozen solid look at fucking broggy yeah they are all frozen solid you know what he's doing usopp yes you just were told about the paint let's deal with the paint There's sometimes where I just get so mad. I'm just like, guys, let's deal with this thing. All right, on to the final episode of the session, episode 76. Let's do it. Not the revolver. Did we dodge that? Thankfully, I was about to say, he just blasted us. Good. Good shot. Wait, is that why he blew into the cartridge? He can have his breath be physical explosions as well? That's why he said invisible bullets. Oh, how do you counter that? That's so broken. Yeah, now my man is heated. Let's knock some people out, please. He's been on the ship this whole time. Meanwhile, we're in a life or death situation. Yeah. This was Mr. Three's hideout. Okay, final form wax man. Mr. Three has digivolved to an ATST from Star Wars. What the fuck am I listening to? What is. Okay, not what I was expecting. But. Okay, 42 mil berry bound. It is very hard armor, I won't lie. And he has full control over it and all that. The paint job does make it look a lot cooler. Good block by Mr. Three. I don't know how we're going to beat him, if I'm honest with you. You thinking of some property that might be able to help against specifically Wax? Or what are you thinking, Usopp? Come on, man. You smart cookie. Absolutely. So what's an easy way for us to quickly heat them up as fast as possible? That actually is horrible, though. Being frozen, paralyzed inside your body, only having your consciousness probably, like you said, writhing in pain. And then he, this guy's got the invisible fucking blicky. Like, how do we deal with this? It's broken. Imagine she, shits on, imagine she sits on you and then gets heavy. That's actually some torture right there. She just slowly gets heavier and heavier. You just feel your spine uh, implode on itself. Not the hair grab. Ooh, starting it. We're drenching it in oil. That thing is going up like a firework. Drenching oil rope. Now, hopefully Zoro, Nami, and Vivi are back in the fight. Sanji can come over as well. Let's 5v fucking four of these guys and whoop some ass. I am ready. This could cause a forest fire and engulf the entire island. Little Garden, honestly. Are they running away? Okay, we're going to fight them again. 
We'll see you at Alabasta, bitches. Yeah, imagine a leg drop on your neck. 10,000 kilograms. Ooh, Vivi and Nami. The women power. Get that bitch out of here. She ain't nothing like you two. Talking about how hot that was. You know what I'm saying? Woo! And then it's not an explosive one. He swallows it and it's like a poison one or a fucking sodium hydroxin. What is it? Uh, you are the liar. <laughs> it's the hot sauce one. I remember him playing around with that. Y your body can handle explosions, right? What about that one? See how much your butthole explodes tomorrow, big boy. Okay, suicide bomber. Re electrode from Pokemon. Ooh. Flaming Oni. Is isn't Oni a Japanese demon or a devil? Onigiri. This man is flaming Mr. Bushido. Look at oh my god. Is he dead? Did we just kill Mr. Five? I know he cut him down. Uh, I'd have to agree with that one. I would not be surprised if we cut down Mr. Five and he was back later or if we killed him right there. I'm going to need some confirmation from you guys on that one. I do think Dory is fucking dead. Yeah, he has not moved a muscle since then. We saw the light leave his eyes. That man is so unbelievably dead. Fucking pisses me off. It's not Broggy's fault either, but... Two foes left. Painter Girl and Mr. Three. It took this fucking personally. Real men. Facts. Okay, Shadow Clone fucking Jutsu. That was pretty smart. Make a bunch of wax clones of yourself. Have her paint them. I just need to have one big gum gum swing. Knock them all out at once, you know, to start. Are you? Intellectual team, maybe. Are you the strongest? What about Mr. Two? Mr. One. That's You could tell exactly which one it was. Yeah, how did he know which one? Please enlighten me, Mr. Luffy. Okay, okay I hate him. Never mind. Haru's going to peck her ass to death. Something. I know, I'm, she's not gonna die. She's a little girl. Mr. 3 and Mr. 5 can die. I'll kill them. Is this, what is Sanji doing in Mr. 3's Cribbo? Does look like some good tea. I can't lie. Won't hold you there. Ooh, I've heard Earl Grey is nice too. Shut the hell up, Sanji. He's like, Nami and the others are probably in trouble. Let's look around for them. Looks around, sees that. Hmm, some nice tea. I like, oh wait, I can't drink tea, you know? You didn't open the random basket in there? It has to be a fucking... Oh, uh, phone from the boss. A snail phone. What are the phones in this fucking... This, a transponder snail. <laughs> I love the world building in this. We're not at the fucking <laughs> restaurant anymore. The Bar Barati. Is this Mr. Two, Mr. One, or is this Mr. Zero? Rockadile. Oh, with the face head with the guitar. That was way too fire. Okay. <laughs> Why did the last episode of the session always have to end like that? I swear. All right. Talk about a good session we had. We got a new ending. Thoroughly am enjoying that. Very groovy. Like the song and the visuals a lot. New character in there that didn't recognize. Very excited. We got to see, we got to hear, not see, hear Mr. Zero. We got to finally whoop some Mr. Three ass, some Mr. Five ass as well. The whole wax power is actually very strong. I personally think, I personally think in terms of strength, Mr. Five is stronger. 
but in terms of utility and all around being an assassin i think mr three can definitely fit like the master of all trades the jack of all trades a lot better like he can incapacitate you he has ways to kill you he has ways to do this that and the other whereas i feel like for number five he can purely just kill you you know like the blasting is i i love the utility i love the variety in powers like if i had to compare anyone's powers right now right now it would probably be um like to be the closest it would be smoker and mr three one just controls smoke which is also very handy and one controls wax like if someone had like which one would you choose and that's I, I honestly don't know which one i would go with if i'm being real with you they're both very handy i like a lot of the powers i like a lot of the building the world building so many of the characters so far there's so many aspects of this that i'm thoroughly enjoying um i am very very sad that dory died can you guys confirm to me whether mr five died as well but i cannot believe dory died that's r.i.p he was one of the goats Bragi also one of the goats <sighs> Um, I do have a question over here from the Discord. If you guys don't know, I have a Q&A section where you guys can ask me questions and I'll answer them on the videos. I'm a little late. I'm a lot of late on this one, so I apologize, Caden. This one is from Caden Van. He says, if you had the opportunity and knew exactly what powers it give you, would you eat a devil fruit and never swim again? Uh, good question. The answer is yes. And you said it knew exactly what powers it would give you. Yes. Hmm, that's the thing. It would have to i would either surround myself with people who would make it kind of like the straw hats where they would go out of their way to make sure i would be safe not have to worry about the whole water aspect but if i could get a power like miss valentine's like the weight one there are obviously situations in which someone could force me into the water whether it be weighted pushing me this out of the other but in a normal situation where i'm free falling about to fall in the water potentially drown and i miss valentine I just turn off my my weight go back to zero start floating with the wind again and i'm good you know like certain powers are kind of actually clutch for avoiding the water if i'm being real short answer yes depending on the power like i'm not taking nobody's chop chop fruit don't get me or the fucking alveda's smooth skin one don't get me wrong like chop chop is not bad but it's not worth giving up water or swimming gum gum pushing it i gotta see some more gum gum shit and gum gum's pretty cool so far but right now i think the coolest is smoker like his is fire and you always got to have cigars on you like come on good question though Caden. i appreciate you um don't forget if you guys want to see more early access uncut check out that patreon eight episodes ahead don't forget to follow subscribe click that bell don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out